Hi, did you know that Sigma FP camera can use other type of SSD drive like this one here, the Ugreen 3.1 second generation? Now, a lot of you probably use the Samsung T5 or T7 uh, SSD drive, but this one also works well. In fact, I'm able to, let me show you right now, open up the case and replace it with various type of SSD drive and even hard drive, the regular mechanical hard drive. Let's talk about it right now. All right, as you can see here, I have the Sigma FP and then this is the drive. This is an SSD drive. It's actually an enclosure. And if you open it up, you can see I have uh, an SSD drive in here. This is a Western Digital. I already note that this can record UHD 24 frames per second, 12-bit CD and G RAW. Okay, so you might want to do that uh, for each of your SSD. You want to test it out first before you um, record anything because CD and G require a lot of data storage. And so you can't just use any type of SSD uh, drive. It has to be super fast. And I know that this one, I was able to rely on it on my Automo Shogun Inferno uh, external recorder. I was using this to record a 12-bit RAW, uh, 24 frames per second, 4K video. So I know it works. I want to make sure that it will work on my Sigma FP. So let me um, plug it in for you. So we're using the USB-C connection like that. And notice this is also a USB C connection as well, both N. This is a um, USB-C 3.1 second generation. So I think that's why it works. So look out for that spec. Uh, USB-C 3.1 second generation and that it's uh, the connection uh, like that, okay? I'm not sure if there's the other standard uh, USB will work with this camera, but I would stick with this type of USB-C to USB-C. All right, so let's turn my camera on and test it out. As you can see, I set, I'm going to set it to, okay, let's see. Okay, let's go to the recording setting and it's set at cinema DNG or CDNG 12 bit UHD or 4K 23.98 or around 24 frames per second. And that's good. And then we'll press record. Okay, so it's recording right now. Now you notice that you should always test out your SSD, right? You'll know that in an, in the next 30 second or so, okay, let's say uh, test it for, for one minute. If it stopped within 10 to 12 seconds, you know this hard drive is not compatible it's, uh, with the uh, recording, okay? I noticed that if I set it to 30 frames per second, 4K, 12-bit uh, CD and G, this uh, recording will stop in 12 seconds. But here I noticed that well, it's still recording and it's been recording for 40 seconds. I'm going to wait for a minute and I, I'm pretty sure we'll continue on to record. And this means that this hard drive or this SSD drive is able to handle this uh, speed. So we know that this SSD is reliable for 4K, 24 frames per second, 12-bit, C, D, and G raw. So that's great. So I'm going to wait. And yeah, so it's been over a minute. I think I, I can rely on it. No problem. Okay, so that's the hard drive or SD drive I can rely on. Not, no problem. Let me switch it over to. See, I have different type of hard drive here. This one is the, the regular hard drive. There we go. I'm going to try uh, another one. This is actually the Samsung 850 Pro. Okay, now I know this one, and this one's a small one. This is 256 gig. Now, I think this one can handle the 30 frames per second, 4K CD and G 12 bit. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over and I'm going to try that. Okay, let's see. Let's make that 30 frames per second or 29.97 frames per second, UHD 12-bit CD and G RAW, okay? So now we have a very fast SSD drive, Samsung uh, 850 Pro, 
250 gig. And I know this works because I tried it in my Inferno as well, my Automos Shogun Inferno. But I think this is faster than my Western Digital. So let's try that out and record. Okay, there we go. Now, if it doesn't record this uh, data speed, uh, 30 frames per second, 4K, I would know in 12 seconds, okay? So it's 10 seconds now, and it's still recording. There we go, okay? So I know that this um, SSD drive from Samsung, the 850 Pro, is fast enough to record 4K 30 frames per second. But, you know, this is quite expensive. Well, I bought this about almost like two years ago, and um, it's still reliable. So I know that from now on, if I can get these older SSD drive, there's 850 Pro, and I'm pretty sure I can get it cheaper now. It will work on my Sigma FP, so that's great to know. So you notice that it's been over 50 seconds already, and it's still working. So I know I can rely on this SSD drive, okay. Now let's try something you probably won't want to do for recording 4K, but you can record it in 1080p. Okay, let me show you right now. Let me just take this out. Okay, so notice I have this regular hard drive. This is not an SSD drive. This is actually a mechanical hard drive. I have four of them, and uh, they're really cheap. This is from my old laptop hard drive, and they're all mechanical hard drive. Now, I would recommend not to use this while you're moving around with your camera, because if you drop any of these mechanical hard drive, you will definitely ruin your data, okay? Compared to, for example, the SSD drive, they don't have any moving parts. So if you drop it, it's not as bad. Whereas these ones, uh, yeah, if you drop any of them, you know the pin on the um, on the mechanical hard drive will, you know, break. So I would recommend that if you're gonna use this, it has to be a studio setting. It has to be fixed. The camera has to be fixed. These hard drive have to be also fixed as well. You don't want to move them. But anyway, I want to show you that it actually works. It won't be able to record um, 4K, but it can record. 1080p uh, raw as you can see I have this one here labeled this is a faster one this is in the Western Digital I label here that this one can record full HD or 1080p 12 bit 24 frames per second CD and G raw okay let's insert this in there regular hard drive as you can see here it's in here there we go and okay so it's connected as you can see and I'm going to change the setting see two I know that it doesn't work for uh, UHD I'm gonna switch that to regular full HD in fact for me full HD or 2k is what I'm gonna film all my videos because I find that to me it's the color that's more important than the resolution so I'm gonna and then most of my content is actually on YouTube anyway so I'm okay with recording in full HD 2k 12-bit uh, 24 frames per second let me just switch that raw C, D, and G, right? So yeah, this would be great because I can just color grade this uh, very effectively because it's a 12-bit 444. And um, in terms of resolution-wise, I'm okay with uh, you know 1080p. So let me show you right now. This should work. Recording now, there we go. As you can see, it's um, recording. Not a problem, isn't it? And you can see that it's going 10 seconds and it doesn't show any problem so far. So what we're going to do is wait for another 30 seconds. You'll note that this hard drive, this mechanical hard drive, 750 gig, in fact, it's telling me that if I use this to record, it can record for 2 hours and 21 minutes on this regular mechanical hard drive, uh, 1080p, of course, right? 12-bit internal raw. And so you can see it's still recording. It's been about 40 seconds already. And noting that if it's past the you know, one minute, I know this hard drive was, is able to handle uh, recording C, D, and G uh, full HD. That's great. Okay, so it works. I'm just gonna stop it right now. All right, as you can see with this USB SSD drive enclosure, you can pretty much hook up any type of drive, whether it's SSD or the regular mechanical hard drive. However, like I said, I would not recommend using the mechanical hard drive just because you don't know how uh, stable it is. I would say for experiment, uh, for you know just doing 
footage that you don't think it's going to be that important, then you can try to record the uh, your footage in 1080p dot move GOP 24 frames per second. I think that's going to be quite reliable. However, if you're going to do 4K, uh, CD and G and all that, definitely these uh, mechanical hard drive won't be able to handle it and it will just turn off on its own. Okay. Now, if you're more serious, I think you just go with the SSD. I will go for the Samsung. The one I have is the Pro, starting with the 850 Pro version. It works really well. It can record up to 4K, 30 frames per second, C, D, and G, 12-bit, 444, okay? You can also use a lower grade uh, SSD drive like the Western Digital, which can record 4K, 12-bit RAW, but it can only do 24 frames per second, not the 30 frames per second. And if you, you know, don't care so much about 4K, which in my case, I record everything in uh, Full HD, not 4K, then the regular SSD drive would do, like this one, HP, which is less than 30 bucks. This is a 120 gig SSD drive. I can record my 12-bit 444 CD and G RAW Full HD or 2K without any issue. So for me, I will probably stick with the regular SSD for recording and you know, I'll buy a few of these uh, higher end SSD, a bit more expensive, to record my 4K uh, raw footage. And that's how I record with my Sigma FP. Thanks for watching educate2.com. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.